Hi, so this video is actually inspired by a couple of things. I mean, we've done that gasifier unit, and I'm thinking of putting that gasifier unit into a vehicle, a vehicle I build. Of course, that's a, a bit, um, hmm, bit ambitious, maybe, for somebody who's been welding for a week. So I thought I'd do something a bit simpler first. And actually, the second thing this is inspired by is jealousy of Luke. Luke's had this idea, and what he's doing is making a kick scooter that is going to electrify. And I've been looking at him doing it, thinking, he's doing an awesome job. That really is a very cool idea. How do I steal that idea and not make Luke look bad? So I thought, ah, oh, sod it, just get it done. So I'm going to make a um, rather large size, actually, kick uh, scooter that's electric. And the reason it's rather large size is because I've got this. This is a 16 inch hub motor, as you can see. So I'm going to base my kick scooter on this thing. I mean, it's, it's kick scooter in, on steroids, if you like, because that is obviously a fairly chunky thing. And it's a, a half a kilowatt motor, it's a 500 watt motor. I'm going to build a, a, a kick scooter out of it. And the main thing that I'm going to use to do it is this steel here. Let's try not to lose everything. This steel, obviously, is the stuff that we found was a shelving unit, and it's one inch by two inch, or if you like, 25 by 50 millimeters by three millimeters thick, so it's a chunky bit of steel. So I'm going to make my kick, uh, my kick scooter out of shelving and that hub motor that I've got. So first things first, let's saw some lengths. Okay, so that's the frame all cut out. I mean, it's really only six bits of steel, and I cut them out with an angle grinder from that um, shelving upright, and here I've left the upright because that weld is better than I'm ever going to do. So I've cut these, I've put three spaces in here. So we've got a battery compartment, electronics compartment, then we've got the bits we're going to stand on. This one actually is going to go in there, but with a swivel on it, so about 30 degrees or so, so that the front forks get the right rake so that we can actually steer off it. Now, I did grab a couple of extra bits. This bit is the front fork column from a, a discarded moped, actually. I was given a moped, I've chopped it up, I've taken the front forks and the column. So that thing there will weld onto there and that will be where my forks go. The other essential beautiful bit is the rear swinging arm. I mean, it's not essential, okay? I happen to have it, so I chopped it out and I've cleaned it up a little bit and I'm going to weld that into the back end and that will become the support for my rear wheel. So all I've got to do now that I've put this thing together and put a couple of clamps on it is just put some tacks in there to hold it before I actually weld the whole thing down. So I'm going to put some tacks in and then I'm going to weld it. So let's set this up a little bit. I've got a slightly thicker rod incidentally, 3.2 millimeter, 3.2 millimeter, 6013. That's the rod that I'm using for it. I've set this at uh, about 120 amps. Because remember, this stuff actually is three millimeters cross section. Now it is a chunky, beefy beast. But you know me, I like things like that. So I'm really quite pleased that it is in fact so chunky. So let's get some tacks in there. Now I've done that, I can take the clamps off and just get the whole thing welded up. And that's it welded together. So there's my big wheel e-scooter frame. It's gonna be a chunky beast and I may well have gone a little bit overboard, but hey, 
that's me. I quite like these sort of strong, chunky designs. Now, remember, it's only about my second or third week of welding, so I have gone to town on this and really made it strong. I've been jumping up and down on it. It doesn't move. And it's made from a um, shelving unit, which is these bits here, and then a couple of donated pieces from a scrap moped, which is this swinging arm and the uh, bit that I'm going to actually uh, put the forks in. Now, I've just done this by eye. I've made some guesses about how big I would think it's going to be, so I'm bound to hit some problems, but problems really are there just to be overcome, really. So we'll have to progress with this build. We'll find out what crazy things I've done wrong, and we'll try to put them right. But that's the frame all done. I am actually loving it, in fact. I've still got a bit of cleaning to do. I'm not quite sure what kind of finish I'm going to give on it, but the next bit is to sort out this front forks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the project, and thank you very much for watching.